All right, hey, this is Kyle Wilson with Reagan and Massey, and we're in Leary, Georgia, and uh, we're in a Riata Bahia grass field with Mr. Tony Smith. Mr. Mm -hmm. Tony is a seed grower uh, for Reagan and Massey. He grows Riata Bahia grass seed for us, but he's also a cattleman, and uh, Mr. Tony uh, uses Riata on his farm for, for hay and for grazing, and we're going to visit with him a little bit this morning and uh, talk about establishing a, uh, a Riata Bahia grass field and, and how, how to go about that. Mr. Tony, thank you for being with us. Please be here. Good, Thank you. good. All right, Mr. Tony, let's start by, by talking about um, establishing Riata Bahia on, on, on your farm. Uh, what, let's talk about land preparation first. What do you do? Uh, well, we're in a heavily row crop area. Uh, the priority is peanuts, and uh, of course we don't do any deep tillage for the preparation for Bahia grass, but it's pretty much normal uh, crop preparation like we do for cotton or well, corn. Uh, except for the fact that I don't feel like it's necessary to do a, a deep tillage like a, a subsoil or a, you know a scooter plow or something like that or, or mobile plow or anything like that. We just prepare the land, uh, get it good and clean and uh, firm. So you want to be as clean as possible exactly. basically. Yeah, exactly. no, no other weeds yeah. or any other grasses. That's right. We, 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 uh, we prepare it with a clean seed bed and uh, and, and firm it up and because we plant with a, a grain drill. Okay, so you're drilling it in. What rate are you using? Uh, I've been planting about 15 pounds of the acre and really? I've been having very good you luck know, getting uh, a good seed established. And, okay. uh, and if, if, somebody's, adequate. if somebody's out there and they not, don't have access to a grain drill and they're, they're having to broadcast their seed, do we need to up that rate to about 20 pounds? I would you say that? yes. Yeah. I, I never have tried to broadcast any, but uh, I, I think that would that would probably do it, you know, a All little right. bit more. All right, so. You disc your land, get clean as possible, mm -hmm. plant your seed, uh, wait for emergence, and then how do you approach fertilization? Well, we uh, we, we look at, of course, we take soil samples, and I think uh, that's uh, a priority, you know, to, mm -hmm. to, to know what you got. Keep know the what pH you up. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't try to get the pH real high, but uh, we we keep it around a 6, 6, 2, mm -hmm. something like that. And, uh, and, and these, these type soils, you know, we uh, uh, got very sandy soil mm -hmm. here. Uh, then, then we uh, we try to uh, put out all the phosphorus at one time up front in the in the first year according to the soil sample, and then we will usually uh, come back with your nitrogen, application. nitrogen and potash uh, later. Uh, you know, you split that up. Yeah. And basically, what I'm uh, I'm lear living and learning through this process, for like I said earlier, my priority is the seed production. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to cut the seed. And then cut the grass, mm -hmm. bale it up for hay, mm -hmm. or graze it, or, or whatever we try to do, get the, get the turf off. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we fertilize it at least three times a year. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. After you plant, um, and you, it, how long does it take to establish? Um, let's let's say with average weather conditions, you get rain. Right. Uh, when can you expect to graze, or, or maybe have your first cutting? We try to try to establish uh, the, the seed. Uh, uh, usually right after the first, the last frost, mm -hmm. and who knows when that is, mm -hmm. you know, we happen to guess at that. Well, actually, believe it or not, in this field, we had frost uh, 10 days ago, mm -hmm. uh, pretty pretty heavy frost, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's already green back up, mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, but we try to, to wait till that last frost, mm -hmm. plant the seed, and, and uh, establish it, and usually, uh, at first of April, last of March, uh, and get a, uh, you know, the seed established and then uh, usually by August we you know you're ready to use it ready to use it okay so all right day length is one of the factors with with Riata Bahia it's not as sensitive to short day to, to short light period right. so when the days are short in the spring and fall you get more active growth out of it than other varieties have you seen that on your farm absolutely and uh, you know I think that's one reason uh, you know the, the fact that it starts earlier and mm -hmm. lasts longer I know we've seen that uh, you cut hay in December here. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. After that last seed cutting, we we cut hay all the way up. Usually, right around Thanksgiving is when we cut the uh, last hay cutting, gotcha. and then a lot of times we can even graze it after that yeah. if we uh, if we choose if to. If we wanted to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But uh, I I think that's one reason that we get we you know the, the length of uh, you know the, the growing season is one reason that we uh, get a little bit better cold tolerance. Is because it, you know it's got the established root system and it's growing, and uh, you know even though you know a hard frost will cut it back pretty bad, I, I really think we uh, 
you know, getting some uh, you know, cold tolerance out of it. Out of it. That. Very cold tolerant variety. Yeah. You mentioned yeah. that some of your neighbors were asking you, you know, during the drought period last fall, yeah. they were seeing your your, your green grass. They, they uh, want to know, what know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. They want to know what it was because they uh, hadn't seen that kind of green green up in, in those times of the year. All right. well, that's a great story. In December. Mr. Tony, thank you for your time. Absolutely. Really appreciate yes, your sir. vision with us and inviting us out to your farm. Anytime. And, uh, if you're out there and you want to try a Riata Bahia grass on your farm, reach out to us at Reagan and Massey. Give us a call. Um, you know, seed is short, but we do have some available right now. If you want to give us a, give us a call and we can get you fixed up. And uh, thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, just post them on our Facebook page or give us a call. We'd be glad to help you any way we can. Thank you, guys.